Hello, my name is Matthew Zupon and I am with CETAenterprises.com. I'm going to be your guide through this tutorial today. And what we're going to learn today is how to create a subdomain through a cPanel administration. If you have a hosting account that offers cPanel as your control panel on the back end of, in your administration account, then you'll be able to do this rather simply. The first thing that we want to do is pull up our cPanel account, obviously. Once you've pulled up your cPanel account and you've logged in, it should look something like this. Okay, We're going to scroll down until we find the little button that says subdomains. And we're going to look right here and we're just going to type in what we want our subdomain to be. In this case it's going to be WordPress because what we're going to be doing is creating a small series of tutorials that will not only show us how to uh, install a WordPress platform on your website but to turn it into a beautiful website that can be used for blogging or business, either one. Also, we're going to be looking at the new 3.0, which has not yet been released. So we're going to be doing a little bit of in-depth study on what WordPress currently looks like and what it's going to be looking like within the next couple of weeks. So you're going to want to uh, follow along with this series of tutorials and check out the new WordPress 3.0. So we're going to call this subdomain WordPress, and we're going to leave this the same. That tells us, the little green arrow tells us that it is exactly how we want it. And all we have to do is click Create, and it will automatically create what we want. Gives the root directory in there, as you can see that. And while that is being created, so let's go back and see if our uh, subdomain is created. Yes, it is. It's all done. We click the Back button. We want to make sure that it shows up here. Right there it is down on the bottom and we're good there we're going to click home go back to our cPanel home page and there you are one subdirectory completely finished stay tuned for our next tutorial which is going to be how to install WordPress through a cPanel account and then we're going to upgrade from 2.9 to 3.0 using the new 3.0 to show you some of its functionality, which is really exciting. I'm Matthew Zupon for CETAenterprises.com. Thank you.